Welcome to Bloomington Today. I'm Emily Taplin. Thanks for joining us. First, we bring you the buzz for the weeks of September 21st through October 4th. An intersection improvement project at Old Shakopee Road and Xerxes Avenue is underway. Through traffic on Old Shakopee Road will be maintained with one lane of traffic in either direction. The project's going to be built in two major stages. Uh, so right now we have the uh, traffic on the south side of Old Shakopee Road. Um, that's going to be one lane in either direction for the duration of the project. The contractor is going to be uh, working on building the north side of the road right now. When that uh, stage is finished, we will be switching traffic. So we will be have traffic be uh, traveling on the north side of Old Shakopee Road and the contractor will be working on the south side. We will be adding dedicated left turn lanes on all the approaches on Old Chalkby Road and Xerxes Avenue. So as you're approaching this intersection in the future and you would like to make a left turn, there will be a dedicated lane for you to make that car movement. Access to Xerxes, Washburn and York Avenues will be restricted during this time. The project is expected to be completed in mid-November. To learn more about the project, visit blm.mn slash let's talk or call the number listed on your screen. The general election is just around the corner. Early and absentee voting begins Friday, September 23rd. Bloomington residents can go to Civic Plaza to cast their ballots from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday through November 7th. Extended hours are available from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday, November 5th and 8 to 5 on Monday, November 7th. Election day is Tuesday, November 8th. Hennepin County will be mailing out ballots to all who have already submitted absentee ballot applications by September 23rd. Earlier this year, the city redistricted its precinct boundaries, so be sure to check your polling location before you go. Visit the website on your screen to learn more. The Bloomington Fire Department celebrates 75 years of service. Join them in the festivities by attending the Bloomington Fire Department open house on Saturday, October 15th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Meet your local firefighters, explore the trucks, and learn about fire safety. The open house isn't just for kids, it's also for adults. This year's theme is fire doesn't wait, plan your escape. So there will be probably some different ideas on how to plan your escape for safely getting out of your home if a fire starts. This year's 75th anniversary of Bloomington Fire Department. There will be some t-shirts that will have special little insignia for 75 years of um, being around. The open houses are happening at each station except for Station 4, which is currently being rebuilt. To find the one you'd like to attend, visit blm.mn fire. After a two-year break due to the pandemic, Bookham is back. We haven't had a sale since June of 2019, and many, many, many people have saved their books that they normally would have donated every year. So we're getting lots and lots of books. So if you're looking for books, we have probably way more than we'll ever have. We usually get 150 to 175,000 books, but this year it's going to be way more than that. This is the 28th year of the sale, which is held by the Bloomington Crime Prevention Association, a nonprofit that has been serving Bloomington since 1981 and supports Bloomington-based crime prevention programs and events. The sale starts October 7th with a preview night and runs through the 22nd. It's held at the former Toys R Us at Southtown Shopping Center. I think the community just, it, it, everybody likes to read and, and not everybody likes holding an electronic device and paging through electronically. Personally, I like thumbing through an old fashioned page with written, you know, word on it. So we see a lot of the same customers come out every year. You know, they're supporting their community and they're doing something that they like to do, which is good for all of us, and that's read. They want to be part of what BCPA does as far as preventing crime through, you know, a lot of it through the PD. They're able in their way then to contribute to that. So there's a, always seems to be a cry in the community of, please have the sale, we want to donate. And then the same people and many others come back and buy the books. Thousands of hours of volunteer time is put in to make the sale happen. To learn more about when and where to make donations and shopping the sale, visit bcpamn.org. A new sculpture in the South Loop adds a burst of color. Blooming Ribbon by Cow Lee Tao is inspired by wildlife, animals, and folklore. In the Hmong culture, a traditional ribbon-like sash is worn to keep people safe and grounded to the earth. 
The sculpture can be found at Bloomington Central Park. It's one of two permanent Creative Spark sculptures added this summer through creative placemaking. We introduce you to Street Seat in a recent Buzz segment. A shout out to Public Works staff. They often provide support for public art projects, including providing expertise and important information for sites, installing artwork plaques, pouring concrete footings and platforms, and helping maintain projects and landscaping. This time lapse features staff helping with the install of Blooming Ribbon. That is the buzz on Bloomington today for the weeks of September 21st through October 4th. If you would like to watch other stories from the show, go to this week's playlist. A Louisiana family chooses Bloomington in their mission to travel to all 50 states spreading love and hugs to police officers. Plus, learn more about how the city is managing natural resources in this week's Council Minute. Thanks for watching.